Hey guys, welcome into HouseOfSparky.com. I'm Troy Lynch, and I'm with Arizona State linebacker Malik Lal. And Malik, it's game week, man. Yes, sir. How you feeling? It's time to go. I'm feeling yeah. good. I'm feeling How's good. the team feeling? I know you guys have been hitting each other yeah. all preseason long. You yeah. finally get to hit somebody else. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's a great feeling to finally get to turn that switch of intensity on somebody else instead of banging heads with our own players all the time. But, yeah, it's, it's a good feeling that we're going to get into season. You have to go up against the New Mexico State Aggies. What do you guys know about mm -hmm. them? Uh, right now, on defensively wise, we know that their quarterback is a solid quarterback. He can run the ball. He's very slippery. He's not not the craziest athlete, but he's a very, very solid quarterback. Running back is probably one of the top running backs in this class. They're projecting him as one of the top NFL running back prospects. Yeah. So we're going to have to cover that. Receivers, are, they have a lot of solid receivers. They like to do a lot of – their run schemes are very basic, so they, they like to do things simple but do it right. So pretty much his main, main thing is getting lined up and playing hard-nosed football and just pretty much putting the wood on them and just making sure they feel us. So, yeah, but I can, be good. Yeah, I can tell you guys are really excited. How's the defense shaping up? I know you got Phil mm. Bennett, new defensive coordinator. Yeah. You guys lost a lot of cornerbacks, but it yeah. seems like your defense, from linebackers to defensive linemen, you guys looking pretty good. Yeah, our first seven looks solid. I mean, guys like Tayshon and JoJo Wicker having in front crump. Probably one of the fastest guys on the defense. Yeah. Being up front, that's crazy having. <laughs> and then we got uh, AJ La Two playing in. Monster dude. And then we got DJ, DJ Christian, me, Kalen, all those guys. And then uh, Dion, uh, all of us just working like that linebacker, like pretty much rotating, getting our reps in and having a great knowledge of the game. But Coach Bennett, Coach Bennett is getting this right. Like, yeah. Yeah, especially the DBs. I've seen a huge change in transition from the DBs now to back then. He's very critical on them, making sure they're getting the things right, making the right calls in the right place. But I bet that helps you guys out a lot. I hear yeah. he just rides you guys sometimes. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> there's no there's no playoff for us. If, the, if we slip up once, it's, it's you hear you hear your name, you got to turn around, you got to just take that beating because cause he's going to get it to you. <laughs> He's gonna get it. I bet you're used to it now, though. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. At, that, at, at this point, being this far into the season, you gotta be numb to that. You oh just yeah. Gotta accept the criticism and take it on, full fledged, and just absorb it and work on it. Come back better the next day. And at the beginning of the summer, I remember just following a whole bunch of your teammates, mm -hmm. but they all were tweeting about you, saying mm -hmm. this is your breakout season. Yeah. Why it's, do you think that is? I mean, I've had too much time. I yeah. Mean, it's one of those things where, I, I'm smart. I'm athletic. I have all the tools for me. A good linebacker just got to turn it on. So that's one of those things where they're trying to get him like get in my head, make sure I, my head's on straight. That it's time for me to turn it on. And I, I believe, I believe they all have the like the right intentions of me being that one key factor along the defense. Like instead of picking that sit back role that I did last year, playing behind right. Crump and all of them, it's time for me to be interactive on the team and. Be, be a factor, so yeah. Yeah, you got to play in 10 games last year, recorded, mm -hmm. I believe, three tackles, something like that. Yeah. How many tackles do you want to get right now? I'm trying to, to be honest, I don't know how many tackles I'm trying to get, but I'm trying to get on that All-American list. Yeah. So if as many tackles as I need. So, I mean, obviously, I'm not going to be one of the starting guys so right now as a senior, so I'm not going to have crazy amount of tackles, but I'm trying to average at least like 60, or a little over 60. Right, but yeah. you have a specific role on the team, and yeah. obviously you contribute mm -hmm. so much to that defense. And I saw on your social media, yeah. you're getting stronger too. I know yeah. you tore your ACL your senior year of high school, mm -hmm. but I saw you squatted 505 pounds, is that correct? Yeah, six times. Six yeah. times? Yeah. Have you ever been able to do that before? No, nah, no yeah. once. Oh my yeah. gosh, <laughs> it, that just makes me look bad going to the gym. I'm gonna, I'm gonna still go, nah, but yeah. no. That's crazy. Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I really don't know where it came from because after my injury, yeah, I took a lot. I took a lot of big relapse, and then I tried my hardest to get my legs right. But the minute I came to ASU, I think like the end of my sophomore year, it just kicked in. Like I don't know. I'm just squatting. I'm just squatting houses. Like, I'm putting weight on it. It's not. It's not affecting me. So, so Grizz just made sure I was having my proper technique and making sure I'm working smart, and then it got me to the point where I'm squatting 500 like it's like it's lightweight. Well, we're all looking for it to pay off, Malik, yes, and we're sir. so excited to see you on the field come Thursday. Thanks so much for joining me. And yeah. you guys can catch Malik Lau Thursday against the New Mexico State Aggies, and you can catch all the postgame coverage on houseofsparky.com. Thanks for tuning in.